That was rude. I'm trying to film. I just want to tell the people about <sighs> This is why I need a studio. I can't keep doing this. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Anemesit here. Don't get it twisted. I love a good try on haul. So I'm back, <laughs> back with another one and I'm so excited to show you guys what I have to try on today. Now, before we get started, if you're new here, hit the subscribe button, please. Also hit that notification bell. Might as well click it while you're down there, right? Those who've been around, what's good? Uh, sis, it's been a minute. How are you? You look good, girl. What highlighter is that? I see you, edges laid. How's the family? Have you drank your water today? We're team four liters a day, okay? Are you still talking to him? Delete your ex from Instagram, sis. He's not worth it. Now that we got all of that out of the way, I gotta always make sure that you guys are good, you know, that you guys are taken care of and ask if everything's okay. We're going to jump into the video. Today, I am going to be bringing you five essential pieces of clothing that I think everyone needs in their closet for fall. Now, these are pieces that it can be mixed and matched with pretty much anything you have in your closet because 2019 is the year of saving those coins. I used to be the kind of person that would shop an entirely new closet every season, but I found that investing in statement pieces and pieces that'll last you a long time is really the way to sort of optimize and make sure that you're using every piece in your closet. In the spirit of full transparency, because you know I keep it 100 with you guys all the time, these clothes were sent to me by a brand called Additionnel. I'm still going to give you 100% of my honest opinion about these. I don't think there's a need to lie. I don't think there's a need to sell you anything. I always have to make that disclaimer because I'm not shady like that. I wouldn't lie to you, that would just be rude. Here I wanna be 100% clear with you. So these were sent to me, but I'm still really excited. So the first item of clothing that I think is a great investment piece to add to your closet this fall is the additional Prince of Wales blazer. I got this blazer in a size 24, which is two sizes bigger than my original size because I really wanted a really casual, loose, oversized feeling. I love a blazer. I think a blazer is the easiest way to elevate pretty much any outfit because a blazer literally dresses up anything. And so when I saw this blazer on the additional website, I was really, really excited because it had that awesome, like almost plaid, houndstooth type feel to it and I just think that paired with pretty much anything in my closet it's gonna look amazing so here it is the quality is amazing so the inside of it is lined with this beautiful rich chocolate cocoa color the arms are lined with the same material just in black and this is a close-up of the pattern like I said it's really like a check beautiful sort of pattern and it has a lovely like tan color running through it which makes it so neutral so even though it's a pattern you can pair this with pretty much any color in my opinion I love the cut of it so additional blazers are really good at being cut for plus-size women because they cut right in like the smallest part of your waist so it gives a really pretty angled um, shape to your body most blazers I own are very much a straight cut boyfriend granddad type of blazer and they're very oversized and long on me this blazer is a little different. Although I wish it was a little longer, it cuts right at the smallest part of your hip and I really like the shape that it gives me. And because it's a little bit shorter, it makes my legs, which are already pretty long, look like they go on forever. So I really like that about the general length of it. I'm very happy I sized up two sizes because I think sizing up one size, it would, it would have looked good, but sizing up two gives it that extra baggy kind of look that I was going for. So it has this cute little pocket detail, which I adore. It is not a real pocket as far as I can tell, but I don't mind that. That's okay, um, because I'd probably be wearing these a lot with jeans and the pockets will be covered. We have a nice, beautiful um, lapel to it as well. And my favorite part about it is that it's double-breasted. So there's buttons that... Um, hook up on the front as well on the as well as on the inside and I just love this jacket It's so Beautifully made and well done and it's something that I know I'm gonna be wearing a lot this season Outfit ideas that I could like that come to mind for this is like literally jeans and a t-shirt is probably how I would wear it the most and probably how I think I'm gonna style it when shooting it but you could toss this over like a bodycon like a black bodycon dress with some knee-high boots would be really nice you could really dress it up for work 
pair of slacks, really nice button-up shirt would look really great with this too, or throw it over a uh, knit. That's one of my favorite things to do with blazers in fall is wearing a really thick knit under one of these and that way you don't actually even have to wear a coat because you're pretty well insulated so it's pretty nice. I'm really impressed with the quality of it like you can tell it's well made which is very nice and that's something that I've come to expect from Additional. Their clothing as far and as long as I've shopped them have been such good quality and I have pieces in my closet that I bought from Additional literally four to five years ago so I know this one will be a keeper. It'll also be pretty easy to transition this coat into both winter and spring. And I just, I'm just really excited for all the styling opportunities that I can come with this. I'm really, really happy about this. This blazer retails for 139 Canadian dollars. Yes, that is a little bit steep, but I think for something that is such good quality, I would cough up that money. And additional is, I would say, a bit more of a luxury brand here on Canadian plus size and clothing at least. But for $139, this is a blazer that I promise you I'll be wearing for the next three to four years. The next piece I've got for you guys is the plaid Oxford pants. I got this in a size 20 and it retails for 79 Canadian dollars. I was so sad when I tried this on and it didn't fit. Literal tears fell down my eyes. Like they come up and everything, but they just don't go above the waist for me and like it just fits wrong and it just doesn't look right so i think just like a size up would probably work best i am a straight up size 20 pretty much across the board on most things which makes me believe that these are cut a little bit tighter i'm just so sad because they like are the perfect match for the blazer like can you imagine the girl boss suit vibe? I think a pair of smart trousers, simple straight cut, no BS type of trousers are really important in a fall closet because they're the kind of piece that really elevates your pretty neutral, simple types of clothing and makes sure that they're like just a little bit elevated, a little bit leveled up. And I think these would have been perfect but they don't fit. There's literally zero stretch. Like if there could be a negative count on what stretch is, these pants would be them. So like they didn't have a lot of give, but the back is elasticated. So you know what? If they fit, I think they'd be really, really comfortable. They're basically just a pull-up style. So there's no like hook or zipper on these at all. On me, like when I tried them on, they hit just above my ankle. So again, really cute with like some sock boots or like even some over the knee boots would be really nice with these. Again, I would wear like a really chunky, like cream colored sweater with this. Um, a bodysuit would look really beautiful with this. If you wanted to dress it down, like a wrap top or like a cropped white t-shirt with a jean jacket and kicks. Even military boots would look really cute with this. Like the range, the range this has is incredible. And you know what, I'm just, I'm just gonna go buy my size. Definitely size up maybe even two sizes. I don't know why because I own a couple of trousers from Additional and 20 seems to usually be my size. So maybe they're just cut a little differently. Maybe I ordered something wrong. Other than that, such a beauty pair of trousers and I am gutted. I am so sad they don't fit. This next piece I am so excited about. When I ordered it from the brand, I kind of liked it. I was like, oh, I could do something with that. That's a cute little piece. You know, I could, I could finesse that. But when I tried it on, gorgeous. And I'm so happy that I opted for it because it was on my list for a little bit. And I was like, I don't know. Like, I'm not sure if I like it or not. It's kind of like, meh. And then I tried it on and it's like, beautiful guys i love it so much it is the pleated midi zebra dress it retails ordinarily for 89 dollars but right now on the site it is 62 dollars and 30 cents canadian so if you're watching this pretty quickly after i uploaded it jump in additional and see if it's still on sale because that's a great deal zebra print is one of those prints i don't know i just can't get behind it i don't know why maybe it's the color combo because when i saw this zebra print, your girl heard angels. I think it might be the beautiful like rusty orange color that backs it or the maybe the size of the print because there's just something about this zebra print that I am just drawn to and I don't know why, but I'm not 
asking questions. If you look closely at the zebra print, each black line is outlined by like a lighter orange, so it gives like a really cool depth to the material. It's just like, look, can you, can you just take a look at it on my skin tone? Like, have I not been saying oranges are made for melanin? <laughs> it's so gorgeous. So the top is like a button up sort of smart collar top with long sleeves and a button detail on the arm of the sleeve. And then at the mid waist area, it cinches into this pleated bottom that just has me swooning. Now, I'm tall, I'm 5'8", and so dresses, when they say midi, often don't really hit me at the midi length that I would love them to hit me at, but this dress does exactly that. So it hits me right at the mid shin, which is so perfect for fall, because I can pair that with some long, tall boots, and I wouldn't have to wear tights, and so that's very important to me because Northern Alberta Falls, honestly, it could be like minus 20 in the morning and then 17 degrees by the time you get home. So you need to dress in layers and finding pieces that you can sort of like layer stuff on, under, is really important for me. There's no stretch to it and I got this in a size 20 and it fits like a glove. It fits absolutely perfectly. I love the cut of it. I love how like flowy the bottom is. When I was trying it on, I kept like spinning around because it just, it was just so cute. And I just really love everything about it. Would it really be an anemocet haul if I didn't have a pair of shoes? And wait until y'all see these ones. Oh my God. Look at that. Like, are you out of your damn mind? Do you see these? Oh my God. Do you, are you, I'm sorry. Are you seeing this right now? Yes. Is that a snake print boot? Yes. Is it wide fit? and wide calf. Additional, yes, oh my God, these are. This is the wide tall boot with stretch zipper. It is 119 Canadian dollars and it is in a sand tonal snake print. It features a stretch inside zipper tape as well as a flexible and breathable memory foam insole. My one rule of thumb when buying shoes is if I want comfort, a thick heel will save your life. And so this really thick heel makes them so walkable. They look beautiful because it is quite an elevation, but the sole of the shoe itself is cushioned. So it's a really like soft, like cushioned material. And the heel itself is also like a little softer. So it doesn't feel like your feet are gonna freaking die, which I've had boots before in the past that have been like sort of high up and like Within two hours, I'm crying. They are really wide. Like when I tried these on, I wore a baggier pair of jeans than I think I intended to, but it kind of served a good purpose because it showed that I can put this on pretty much over every, Oh, sorry, Frank. That's Frank, he's my plant. So I tried these boots on over a really thick pair of oversized denim and they still zipped up. So it's very wide across the calf area. And so if you have bigger calves, this would really be a great boot for you. And it just looks expensive. Like, are you like, ugh, seeing shoes that are so stylish like these for individuals with wider feet and like wider calves is just why I continue to love and support Additional because they keep doing these high end, super trendy pieces for people like me. The zipper has a stretch insole. And so when you're zipping it up, it also gives additional stretch in the width of the calf. This with like a white t-shirt dress would be amazing. This with like black skinny jeans and like a wicked leather jacket would be amazing. This with just, this naked, this naked would be amazing too. I love them so much and I just knew, I just knew I had to get them and they'll be just the perfect trendy sort of like statement piece in my closet this fall for sure the final piece of clothing that i think we should all invest in for our fall wardrobe is a statement coat and i say coat because i mean a coat that you can transition from fall into winter and it'll keep you warm as we get a little colder here during the year i have too many coats i know this about myself don't come for me don't drag me i know i have too many coats but guess what you can always have another one. <laughs> so this is this coat right here. 
so bomb. Can we just... It is the double breasted wool blend coat. It normally retails at 149 Canadian dollars, but right now it's retailing for 99. I got this in a size 3X, which is one size bigger than my size because I wanted it to be bigger because when it comes to Edmonton, we don't play. Like everyone does not look cute anymore. Like you need to be warm. So to find a coat that's both cute, heavy with that wool insert, while also being big enough for me to layer stuff underneath it was definitely something important that I knew I had to find in a coat. So look at this beauty. She's a wool outside, like, and that's like real wool type situation. So it's very warm. It is lined with sort of like a silk material on the inside. It's double breasted and it has an inside button for you to secure with. Obviously, large pockets, oversized giant collar, which is super nice. And it's just so, it's everything that I've ever wanted in a coat. As much as I own a million coats, I've never owned a white or cream one before because I'm just scared, like they scare me. But as soon as I saw this, I knew I had to get it. And again, white's a neutral. It'll go with absolutely everything in my closet. And I find that it's just such a finisher for any look. It makes you look put together, makes you look chic and fashionable and slick. And I just really love that about this jacket. This is an investment piece. This is something I'm gonna have literally forever. And I really love it. It's heavy. So this is a coat that I'll definitely be pulling out sort of at the later end of fall when it starts to get a little bit colder. And then throughout winter as well, I think it'll just be the perfect coat. I love it so much. So that's it guys. That is five major investment pieces I think we should all have in our closet for fall this year. I want to say a huge thank you to Additional for sending me over these pieces. And of course to all of you guys, old and new, for sticking around, for coming by, and for really being positive on this content. I really appreciate it. And I'll catch you on the next one. Bye! I am so hungry. Oh my God, I'm gonna go eat.